So now this flat part here is equal to that flat part. Come straight across. Now that should sit down on there and touch those pads. And it looks like I need to increase the angle slightly. about a 60 degree angle. And then you need to make sure that that doesn't um, come in contact with these traces right here. Because you've got all that po the power in the ground and the regulated voltage all coming back out. So once you know where that is, You're going to trim those tips off. So ideally, the top of this component should basically touch the top of the pad. Maybe uh, you should see the pad just slightly, uh, 16th of an inch or so. And then come across, and they, those pads should be short just slightly, about a 16th or 8th of an inch like that. And it should be flat on the pad, not just sticking out at the pad. A point on the pad creates a weak solder joint, it'll fail. If you have a flat spot, it'll stick a lot better. So we pick one pad, place our solder on it, place our component on there, and then heat our pad and our leg. And it should bond nicely to that. Okay, so now it's there. I can move it a little bit. But it's nice and centered. And take another one. Always start with the pins, never with the body. You have to manipulate your pins and you may have to bend them more than you should. Okay, same thing. Heating the pad and the pin, applying the solder to the joint, not the iron. Flux would probably be a good thing to use here. Definitely flux in the back here. Little pin. Okay. I'm going to go back and make sure I have all these soldered well. do the base in the back. In this case we have to heat both the pad and the body. And the body is large so it's going to pull heat out of your iron. Clean iron. I'm going to form what's called a solder bridge. I'm going to actually put a little bit of solder on the iron and that solder will start to form on the component. And there's my bridge. And then I'm going to apply that solder to this component. This is actually uh, the same as pin, the middle pin. Cool, that will take time. Don't want to move the board or anything.
Okay. Now that one is cooled. Next thing I'd like to cover is um, just a general resistor and a capacitor. Same principle. So R6. We got uh, pin 1, it's on the opposite side, pin 14, and right above pin 14. So here and there. So I'm going to heat the pad, bring it into position, hold it there. Just like that. Okay, then we'll heat the other side. Pull a little solder in there, get that little curve, we're good to go. I'm going to go back and touch this up here. There we go. Alright, up to this point I've installed uh, all the resistors that are service mount. Um, so the next thing is to uh, finish up the capacitors that uh, I've added to this board that are part of the uh, PDM, PWM driver um, U3. Um, so there's just a couple more capacitors to wrap it up. And we're going to start with C10.